Endoscopy is a medical procedure in which a flexible tube called an endoscope is used to examine your stomach. The endoscope is inserted into your mouth and it allows the doctor to look for things that might be causing abdominal pain, nausea, or vomiting. It can also be used to detect cancer and distinguish between benign and malignant conditions. So this is a, um, a gastroscope or an endoscope and this is what we use to um, examine people's stomach and the upper intestinal tract. And as you can see, this is an extremely small scope. It's about the size of a, uh, a big thick piece of spaghetti. And um, it has a light on the end, which you can probably see. And uh, we can see right through it because at the tip of this is a camera. In this video, Dr. Zandra Van Zatten, Director of Gastroenterology at the University of Alberta, will help to explain a little bit more about endoscopy. He has also volunteered to undergo the procedure to give you a better idea of what's involved. Endoscopy is open to all participants age 15 and older. Participants don't need to have H. pylori infection or digestive symptoms, and they don't need to have a previous urea breath test. A pre-endoscopy questionnaire will be used to collect information on participants' medical history, medication allergy, and current medications they are taking. This information helps physicians assess participants' health conditions and run the endoscopy procedure safely. Before you undertake an endoscopy, there are a few things you need to do to prepare. Generally, what, that we, what we recommend is that uh, people avoid taking uh, any uh, solid food or liquids uh, after midnight uh, the day before. It is very important that you do this to avoid getting fluid or stomach contents into your lungs during the procedure. On the day of your endoscopy, you cannot eat or drink before the procedure. If you are taking regular medication, you can take it with a small sip of water. Be sure to bring all of your medication with you to the health center when you go for your endoscopy. Endoscopy is a procedure that lasts about five minutes. Once it is time for the procedure, you will be either drink or have a local anesthetic sprayed in your throat before the endoscopy begins. While you are in a comfortable position on your side, the endoscope is passed through the mouth and then through the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. The endoscope does not interfere with your breathing during the test. Most patients consider the test to be only slightly uncomfortable, and many patients fall asleep during the procedure. It's very important that the reason we do uh, uh, the procedure is to, to, do, to, to, to do two things. One is to look inside and see whether there's anything abnormal. And secondly, to get biopsies from the stomach to determine whether an individual has the Helicobacter pylori infection. The instrument has channels through which we can uh, put uh, tiny, what we call biopsy forceps. And these are basically devices which allow us to take piney, tiny pieces of tissue, uh, biopsies from the lining of the stomach. These biopsies are very small and will let doctors know what kind of infection you might have and prescribe the correct medication. Endoscopy is generally safe, although some complications can occur. Bleeding may occur from a biopsy site, but it is usually minimal. Major complications, such as a tear that might require surgery for repair, are very uncommon. If you begin to run a fever after the test, begin to have trouble swallowing, or have increased throat, chest, or abdominal pain, let your doctor know about it promptly or go to the health center. We hope this video has given you more information about endoscopy. You should now know if you are eligible, what you need to do to prepare, and how the procedure works. If you have any further questions, you can call the research team in Edmonton toll-free at 1-855-492-2525. Thank you for watching.